Hello, my name is Amanda Verrett, and I'm from the NKU Office of Instructional Design with Michael Lively. We're going to do a series explaining how to take 360 degree by 360 degree completely immersive panoramic photographs. In this video, I'll be explaining the equipment, software, and how to take the photographs. So first, we're using a digital SLR camera, an icon, with a 10.5mm uh, fisheye full frame lens. You can take these photographs without using a fisheye lens, but you have to take a lot more photographs and it's a lot more difficult to properly align them later on in the processing stage. Um, we're also using a VR head. This is a Panasaurus that I'm using. What this does, it helps align the optical center of your camera lens over the central rotation point of your tripod. And this eliminates parallax, which is when uh, you're lining the photographs and things just seem a little jagged or off. And that will make it, again, a lot more precise and a lot easier in the processing stage. Uh, we're also using a very sturdy tripod that helps, again, keep all the equipment level and maintain accuracy. And finally, I suggest using a hot shoe level. This isn't required again, but it makes sure that your camera stays level and provides accuracy in aligning your photographs. So the first step is to gather all of your equipment and assemble it. So now that we have all of our equipment set up, we have the camera attached to the VR head and the VR head attached to the tripod. When you're choosing a location, you need to be aware of your surroundings. You need to make sure that everything is at least three and a half feet away from the camera lens, otherwise it will be out of focus in your photographs. That includes the floor and the ceiling. You also want to set up your tripod so that it has as small of a footprint as possible. So bring in those legs so that when you take your downward facing shots, as little of the tripod legs will be in the photo as possible. So first, you want to make sure that everything is level. Have the VR arm so that it's at 90 degrees and make sure that the tripod, the VR uh, arm, and the camera hot shoe level are all balanced. Then we're gonna shoot our photos on manual. This way you can set the aperture, shutter speed, and white balance custom to your surroundings. Also, you don't want your settings to change with each photo. We're going to be taking a series of nine photographs and you want to keep the settings the same throughout all of them. You also want to make sure that your lens is set to infinity. So finally, you want to set the VR arm so that it is on zero on the rotation dial. With our full-framed fisheye lens, you'll need to take a series of six photographs around the horizon. So one photo every 60 degrees. This will provide a 20% overlap in the photographs. So now that everything's set up, I'm going to use the self-release timer to avoid any camera shake or unleveling of the equipment, again, for accuracy and aligning later. And that's the first photograph. So then I do the same thing, except at the 60 degree increment. Leaving all of the settings the same. And now at the 120 degree increment, you continue this process all the way around. One eighty. Two forty. And finally, 
300. Okay, so now we're back to the zero spot on the rotational dial. So now you're going to want to take your zenith photo, which is straight up. So you're going to loosen the VR arm and set it so that it's perpendicular to the floor plane. Again, leave your camera settings the same. and set the self-timer. You want to be aware of your uh, lens's range of view. This lens is 180 degrees, that's why I ducked down to make sure that my head wasn't in the shot. So now you're going to want to take two Nader photographs that's the opposite of the zenith, that's straight down to the ground. And I'll show you why we need two of them in the editing process. So you loosen the VR arm and rotate it to the opposite position that it was just in. Tighten it. You'll take the first photo at the zero spot and then you want to back away as well so your feet aren't in the shot. And then you'll want to rotate the camera around to the 180 degree position and do the same thing for the second Nader photo. All right, and you're finished. Now for processing.